Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. I am eating breakfast and I thought I'd take you along today and maybe tomorrow. We have some exciting things coming up and I want to share those with you. A little life update and just what's happening in my everyday life. But now let's eat breakfast. I feel like I'm cleaning up my desk every single time I make a vlog, but that's just reality. It always looks like this, so I always need to do that. It looks a little bit better now. I also had some paper stuff to do. I'm not done with that yet, but now I wanted to move on to something more exciting. This summer, it looks like we're finally, finally traveling again. And um, we plan to go to Scandinavia by train. More specifically, I'm gonna buy an interrail ticket, I think today. Um, it's not gonna be like the typical interrail journey where you uh, like go from city to city and sleep in hostels, but we're like a family and we like nature. So we're gonna stay in cabins and we're not gonna stay just one or two nights, but more so like approximately one week per cabin. We plan on going for a full month. So it's like about five destinations in Norway and Sweden, and I'm finally starting to book the things. <sighs> I'm gonna spend about like 2,000 euros for accommodations and another thousand for transportation, I think. So it's it, like, it's, it's rather expensive for me, um, but I think it's worth it. And I've not been able to travel properly, like um, apart from going to Switzerland to visit family for, yeah, since summer of 2019. And so I'm really, really excited. I wanted to use Interrail since I was like 16 when I first like heard about it. But now I'm 26 and I'm finally doing it. It's a few hours later, I just had lunch and I did buy the Interrail tickets. We have those now. And um, I also downloaded the app, there's like just a an app to plan all of your trips because you then you kind of you have the ticket but you still need the reservations and um, you need to know where to board a train and when. Um, so I looked up all the connections. There's actually a problem with one. I, I haven't figured out what the problem is yet. Um, it's a lot of organizing and I really hope nothing major is gonna go wrong because with trips like this there's always something that's like not going according to plan yeah you know it's an adventure also let me just ask you now already are there specific videos that you'd like to see i'm for sure gonna make like a packing video packing for like one month of train travel scandinavia in cabins um i'm also maybe gonna make a video of like did i pack the right stuff i will vlog a little bit so maybe show you a bit of how it looks but are there anything any other videos you'd like to see let me know in the comments down below So I just came here with my bike to meet a friend. We wanted to take some pictures for Instagram. I'm gonna link her Instagram down below as well. Um, and just meet each other. And we accidentally went to do two different lakes because we have like a few lakes here that have like similar sizes, look similar, and the names are just like the villages they are between, but you know, Sometimes you can't tell like if it's between two villages, if it's the name of one or the other village. So we are at two different lakes, but she's coming over here because she's with her car and with my bike. So it's 
uh, fasting for her and I'll meet up with her in a few minutes. back from the lake and now I need to unpack. I already um, showered and had lunch and as you can see it's green behind me and that is because of the leaves. So uh, I have to say I, I love the leaves outside but I hate this time of the year when it comes to recording videos because for the next like five six months it's just gonna be green or I have a purple face and there's just no good solution because all of these trees make, you know, reflect green light. But now we have to get through it. So let's unpack and like fold some laundry and then I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> the stuff that was necessary to be done and now I'm sitting here and I'm trying to open up like the pockets of my new linen silk pants because as many of you told me that's really what you need to do and as I said there's also something I still wanted to talk about and that's why I like these vlogs because they make it possible to sometimes like share something that's not gonna fill up a whole video but that's just gonna take up like one or two minutes to tell you and I still want to share it. Yeah, as you know, like in a lot of areas in my life, I'm looking for meaning. I try to live a minimalist life, sustainable life. I have certain values that I try to, to live by. But sometimes like these, these things always kind of, you see them in the small stuff. If I'm making a purchasing decision, I will decide for the more sustainable and more ethical piece. But sometimes I lack like a certain purpose. I think purpose is something we all seek in life. And while I think that, that what I'm doing is meaningful, like I'm, I'm raising my son, I'm living in my relationship, I'm creating this life for me that makes me happy and that's doesn't stress me out. I'm trying to incorporate things that I like doing each and every day, but still sometimes I like, I'm searching for, for like a bigger something. And I'm not religious and I'm not like into spirituality too much in general, but something I heard like Marissa talk about and her YouTube channel is called A to Zen Life, I think. Yes, A to Zen Life. I'm sure a lot of you already know her because she has 
gained over 100,000 subscribers and she grew a lot recently so I'm sure a lot of you know her but she talked I think about in her Instagram story or she linked like a Pinterest or a blog post she made um, and she was talking about having a life motto or something like a sentence to live by that kind of describes your I don't know, your mission, your your current feeling, your, you know, what you're going for, what makes you happy, things like that. I think it's it's like it's like a slogan for a brand, but for yourself, for your life. I was on a walk recently in the forest and I thought a lot about this or like what 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 is my purpose? What is my purpose with this brand? What is my purpose in life? What's like the topic maybe that I'm that I'm working on, that I'm thinking about a lot. Um right now and I came up with something and now you maybe hope for something amazing and big and maybe it's completely meaningless to you because your life is different but I still wanted to share it with you because I thought maybe it resonates with some of you so I think it doesn't help to talk more about it without sharing and so here it comes embrace complexity choose simplicity and let me explain a bit more what I mean by that. So what I mean by that is that the world is complex and kind of every issue you talk about, there's different aspects, there's different perspectives, there's different solutions. And I think it's important to realize that and to embrace that because I think something that's happening recently a lot during the past years in politics and just people like seeking for an easy answer. And I understand that. I think we, we all seek simplicity in a certain way, but I think it's really dangerous if you do not acknowledge the complexity in general. But the second part to simplicity is that during like the past years, whenever I thought a lot about sustainability and learned more and more about like um, social justice or like injustice that we have in, in many parts of, of the world. And that usually if we buy something in a supermarket or if we buy clothes or there's just never a perfect choice. And so that, that weight chat kind of just, um, felt really, really heavy on my shoulders. And I was, I felt like I was carrying like all the complexity and all the weight and I had to make the perfect choices and find solutions that are like just perfect. And I think in most cases it's not possible. And so what I mean by embrace complexity, choose simplicity is that we should not lose sight of the complexity and that we have to continue to learn and try to understand other people, try to, to, to do better and evolve, but not carry the weight of the world on our shoulders alone, because there's no good coming from trying to be the solution to everything. We just, we can just try to make like better choices and focus on your priorities. Like that's true simplicity. Focus on a few things where you can change something and not, yeah, work yourself up because you cannot like be perfect in every, every area of your life. So I open up like one pocket and the other one we still need to tackle. Embrace complexity, true simplicity kind of fits my life right now. And it kind of fits what I'm trying to communicate with my videos. Because all of you deserve to be happy. None of you can fix all the issues in the world, but I think it makes sense to still learn about those. And now, what's going on here? I think I opened up the wrong one. Yeah, okay, I'm not, multitasking is not, I'm not perfect at that, and now we see. Now I do not have a pocket, but I have like a broken pocket. Oh, that, oh, that's annoying. So now instead of having like a good pair of pants I can wear, I just have to fix it. But there are pockets now. At least there are pockets. <laughs> but this one is a broken pocket. Oh, oh I'm not going to do that today. I don't feel like doing it. I hope you like this video. I hope you're excited for maybe seeing Scandinavia stories on Instagram and videos here during August. And now I do want to recommend you a video, maybe also um, related to the whole life motto thing. 
um, and it's right here and it's how I try to like heal and recover from hustle culture and from just this mindset of that is work is everything in life and that this defines our worth as people. So I recommend you check it out. I hope you like it and I hope to see you right there. Bye.